right, so our next build here is another one that I absolutely know all about. And we're actually going to spawn two different versions of it because I saw that he released a second version. We're going to do both of them because they're cool. The X-Wing Starfighter by NMK111. And we're going to do the other one, which is the Closed Wing. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that, guys. God, if only you could make it to the open and close. That would be freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm a sucker for an X-Wing. Now, the first thing I was going to do was an A-Wing, and I just didn't like the way the front looked. I didn't like it. I didn't love it. But this looks freaking awesome. I mean, I've seen some X-Wings in the game, but this one looks very, very authentic. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah! Oh, and it comes with ammo? What? Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, dude, this is sweet. This feels really good. It moves well. Oh, oh yeah, we failed that. Epic fail. Was trying to go through the A. Didn't work. It could totally fit through the A, too. I'm just trash. All right. This is like when he's going to uh, the Dagobah system. You know, he's just like, yeah, we're gonna go, uh, we're not going with them. Da 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 da. I'm gonna go meet an old friend. Yeah. Yeah, that's sweet. I'd probably have one just for like maybe doing the minor runs and stuff, and then I'd use the other one to actually fight with. That's cool. Cool stuff, man. Very, very good. I, I gotta say, just about probably the best best uh, X-Wing I've seen so far in Imperion. This looks really good. It's not too much, too. Like, it's just it's just right there. That thing's got a warp drive, guys. This thing can warp. It's freaking cool. <laughs> this is by NMK111. This is the X-Wing Starfighter. Very cool. Alright, guys. So, our next build is by Dan Bolo. And this is the uh, Fury class interceptor from, uh, from Star Wars. <laughs> Birdie Mooseter with that tier one five month resub. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Look at this guy.
Is this the second? This is the second interceptor, right? We did one last week. This is cool. Or is this? Did I show this last week? Yeah, the other one was from uh, Big Feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Look at this, man. Look at the way the curving of the uh, of the wings, though. That looks really cool. Yeah, little turrets on the side here. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, there's a CV. You are right. Yeah, the other one is a CV. This is an SV. Look at that. That just looks cool. It's like they kind of fold out and stuff. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Sith relics. Ooh, that's cool. Peace is a lie. There's only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The force shall free me. Yeah, that's cool, man, with the relics. I, I think that's badass. That is really cool. Wow, good lighting, everything. This looks really cool. Oh, that's cargo. On the other side here. Wow. I love the matte black. This is, oh, this is actually that, like, fancy, like, like, Louis Vuitton freaking pattern thingy. That looks cool. Sith got to sleep, too, man. Darth Malgus. Ooh. <laughs> this is cool, man. Did anybody ever see that fan made uh, Darth Maul movie? Like that little short movie they made with Darth Maul? That shit was so cool. I gotta look that up again. Well, that's where the freaking warp drive is. Look how big this thing is. Oh, I'm trash. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, sorry. Pretend that didn't happen. That looks so cool. I love the shape of the wings. Like, it just, yeah. Looks so good. Remember when that was a loading screen in Imperia?
Yeah, that that is awesome, dude. Very, very good job, Dan. This is by Dan Bolo, and this is the Fury Class Interceptor. SV. So we have a CV and we have an SV. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, our next build is by Raptor. And this is the uh, UNSC Saber. Can't remember if this is an SV or. Yep. Now, this is from. Uh... Oh, God. Where is this from, Raptor? Nobody knows where this is from. Is this from, like, uh. Warhammer or Halo or where's this from? Anybody know? Anybody in chat tell me where this is from? Ah, see I knew it was Halo. Yeah, I like I like how the stance is raised, that's cool. Good proportions, man, like this is good. See you're getting better and better, man, like you used to just build these big like brick things. Now your you know like, your shaping's coming along, man. This looks really good. The texturing looks good. You did some different texturing and colors and stuff. Really coming out on your own, man. Very nice. Thrusters are cool. Take a look at the innards here. Okay, so we got all the uh Completely internal thrusters and stuff. Let's see how this thing moves. Moves very well. Yeah, dude, this this freaking moves really well. Freaking Raptor, man. I mean, Raptor's always made stuff that works, right? I've never, uh, I've never gotten a Raptor build that didn't work as uh, as directed. But this thing looks really cool, man. You really got some shaping here. I suck. Thanks, Annie. <laughs> no, man, this is this is really cool. It moves great. This is a solid SV here. I like I like that stance. That's cool. Like, what are we what are we working with with the uh, cargo here? Got like zero cargo. It's got two thousand ammo, so it's definitely just a fighter. It's meant to fight. What uh what kind of guns does it have on it? It's got a Gatling. It's got a couple rockets. Does have warp? It looks like. Does it unlock level fifteen? Got homing. Yeah. Lots of glowies. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, man. Dude, I'm impressed, man. This is this is solid, dude. Freaking awesome. I'm I'm wondering here. I don't know. Let me see something there. Oh, 
What was the name of your entry from the Barricade CV Challenge? Do you remember what the name of it was, Razor? Razor? Did I call you Razor? Raptor. I would still have it in here because it was probably a direct submission. I've seen it though. It'd be interesting to contrast like your first entry with uh, with this because I mean you've just come a long way man. I mean your first entry was literally this huge square house thing that my CV could fit into and it worked. I mean, it freaking worked. But look, dude. I mean, you, you. This is legit, dude. This looks really good. I, I love to see progress, dude. Especially when you can see it before your eyes, like from one month to the next. And this is, this is, uh, yeah. I haven't seen you really do any SVs either, though. I've only seen you do like tanks and stuff. So, um, yeah, dude. Very impressed, sir. Good job, man. Keep it up. This is by Raptor. This is the UNSC Saber from Halo. All right, so our next vessel here is by uh, who's this guy? Doom, Doom Noodle, Doom Noodle. This is a uh, SV here. This is uh, the Chimera drop ship. Chimera, Chimera. Oh, SV. There we go. Oh, and Doom's got like a whole freaking PowerPoint over here in the chat. Look at this guy. Holy crap. Oh, oh, oh this is cool. This is a dropship, so this is meant to, uh, yeah, look at that. A little, uh, cool, man. Now, where is this from? This is from, uh, I. If you could read what he said, Jet, I can't, I can't uh, see. It's only two lines, and then it disappears for me. Uh, so for my build, I replicate uh, or replicated a dropship of the alien Chimera race from Resistance for PS3, but textured it in Jeff's Creel style. Um, I like just published this on the workshop. Oh, uh, that's awesome! And then man. he gives the link. Yeah, look at that, Jay Randall. That's cool, dude. That is freaking neat. Little grabbies there, and yeah, that's sweet. That's, that's... I know he's going to want a lighting cue, so I'll just do it before he asks. Yeah, so apparently this just got on the workshop, so check it out. But yeah, you can see a difference in the uh, colors here between this and this. He definitely did some different, um, some different color stuff. Now, did you actually grab uh, Jeff's uh, color palette? Because I think he was sharing that for uh, for his different stuff. I, I've seen in his recent uh, builds, he's been sharing the uh, the color palettes. I did talk to him about something about that. I, I just remembered that I've got so much shit going on supposed to do something about that but yeah so he's got some really cool color palette schemes and stuff for his different things that he does very nice let's give it a uh let's look inside real quick does this have so this is a fighter it's definitely not a warp it's got a shield but this is meant to basically drop drop something on a planet Ooh. Yeah, it's got some lift. Yeah, I don't... And now, is this the first time you've done color? I want to say this is one of the first times Doom's done color. I could be wrong, but I think he's also... He's also a gray man. 
Yeah, he says in there that he did decide to go Creel to challenge himself. Yeah. And also show people it's possible to build like Jay Randall if you work hard enough. Now, of course, this isn't good enough, but it gets close. Yeah, it's it's cool, man. Definitely, uh, definitely unique. Definitely doesn't look like something uh, in your native style. So you definitely did challenge yourself, and and yeah, man, I could, uh, I totally got that vibe from it that this is part of like the Creole lineup here. That is freaking awesome. And I could totally see this thing dropping something. We'll keep this in mind when we uh, do some HV to SV dock testing and some future streams here. That is that is really cool, man. So yeah, very nice to him. It's gotta be uh, it's gotta be cool for Jay Randall too. That's uh that's cool. That is uh yeah, it's by Doom Noodle, and that is the uh, Chimera SV dropship. This is by Salusticor, and this is the Akua Wars speeder, L speeder. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah, buddy. That is what I'm talking about. Go get those power inverters. Hell yeah. Do you reckon the Polaris um, oh. things, uh, androids are going to say, sorry, wrong, wrong things. We're not looking for something. Yeah, these are not the droids you're looking for. Oh, this is... yeah. That is something else, man. I love it. You guys did not disappoint, man. I've seen some, you know, I've seen some replica challenges and stuff. Like, you guys, you guys went nuts this month. Like... I've been holding off on the replica concept because I just didn't think that people are going to be into it. It's going to be kind of whatever, and we we're going to get some stuff. Now you guys, you guys really showed out this month, and you guys really, you know, it's one thing to do an original build, and you know, it's original, it's creative and original, it's your, you know, intellectual property and whatnot. So, you know, it looks cool, it shows off your style and stuff. But when you guys do replicas. Now you're kind of repli you know, I mean, you're replicating, right? You're replicating somebody else's concept and style. And the fact that you guys are so effortlessly able to really prove, you know, like the designs and stuff and make them look just like it, it's ju it just really shows off your skill. Um, all of these builds just look so amazing in their own right. And especially with somebody that doesn't know what a lot of these reference. <laughs> look really cool like they all look really cool i mean last last week some of the stuff we saw last week this week is just it's amazing and i think just about every one man i don't think there was one that was kind of like eh, that's kind of cheesy or that's kind of going cool. no, on man they all look freaking amazing and this is uh <laughs> this is awesome man this is my childhood right here i think i had this toy I had all the toys and my mom threw them all away. Can you believe that? I had the Millennium Falcon. I had like the first one. The first Millennium Falcon toy. I had like all of the original Star Wars stuff. Um, yeah, I threw them all away. Yeah, no big deal. I just throw them away. You're not a kid anymore. What? <laughs> and what's messed up is when she was a kid, she collected Barbies, like the original Barbies. And her mom threw them all away and it pissed her off because they were worth a lot of money. So why did she not learn that lesson and does not throw my stuff away? Like, I'm not throwing my kid's stuff away. There's no way, man. I'm keeping all that shit. Maybe one day uh, My Little Pony and LOL dolls are going to be worth millions. And I will, will have not thrown them away. Haha. <laughs> 
can't believe I managed to say My Little Pony in uh, Salute to Chorus Design Challenge entry. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Just, just think Sorry. of it. Just think of it as locking in, in in your carbon footprint. You know, if you keep all that plastic, it can't affect the environment. Right. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. All right, guys. This is freaking amazing. Salute to Core. This just looks amazing. Beautiful, dude. I love it. This is the uh, L Speeder Starter HV for uh, unlock level five, guys. Styling at level five, hell yeah! This is by uh, Salusticore. Definitely check it out. Check out all his designs. Look at that, dude. That's so unique. Ah. Yeah. Luke and Obi just like rolling through the desert. Just, yeah. I can hear the music and everything. That's so cool. All right, guys. So this is Dark Star, nineteen seventy four, from Dragon the Thirteenth. Do you have any uh, reference uh, lore for me, Jet Set? What's Dark Star? It was a 1974 film from John Carpenter. Ah. Grow plots, guys. Lots and lots of grow plots. Cool. And again, as I say, he had uh, PC issues about halfway through the month, so he's not really had access to this at all. And it gets things needed to be uh, rebuilt. Yeah, no worries, dude. I see what he's doing there. Definitely a good, uh, good progress in here. I mean, that's no problem, dude. I'm, I appreciate him uploading it, showing us something here that he was working on. So. Yeah, I hope he finishes it, man. This is pretty cool. So that'd be the bridge here. Yeah, that's a cool presentation right here with the piping and everything, and the thrusters, that looks cool. Then he used the uh, the passenger ramp here at the bottom. That's cool. Definitely a consistent uh, contributor to the uh, designers challenge. As are pretty much all the entries here. We do, we do have one new entry this month, and that was iRoker. So it's good to have iRoker back in uh, Imperion building stuff because he's a he's a good builder from uh, from a year or two ago. Where does the elevator go? The elevator goes up to this uh, kind of like skylight. Yeah, one of one new first time entry today, but three overall for the month. Oh, thank you. Yeah, three overall. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, as I was saying, uh, Doom had asked uh, what I was talking about with the... Uh, yeah, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not able to uh, do the uh, Designer's Challenge uh, videos over on YouTube after the fact. So you guys would have to rewatch them in Twitch. I'm not able to, uh, to move them over and edit them and stuff. It just takes, it takes a lot of work to do the editing, and I'm just not able to do it. Um... I'm trying to uh, keep up with the master challenges, so we are putting those out. Um, we had one out yesterday, we should have another one in a couple days, and then we're putting out the designer spotlight. So the next one you guys are going to see on YouTube is from Semp, which we did a couple weeks back. And then um, we're going to do uh, the next one uh, that we did last week, which is from Hush Dispatch. So. Yeah, they, they do need to be edited. Um, I mean, just to put the entire thing over to YouTube, it doesn't 
I don't really see the point of that. Why not just watch it on Twitch? You know, like it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to put a three hour stream straight over to YouTube. So. But yeah, guys, that is uh, that's from Dragon the 13th and that's from Dark Star movie from 1974. I got some homework to do after uh, these last couple weeks. I got to watch Expanse. I got to watch. Uh, I don't know. I got to watch probably like an episode of this. Uh, Thunderbirds thing and uh, yeah, kind of get what some of this stuff is. Maybe play Halo. I've never played Halo before. Maybe play the play that. Probably not. Um, <laughs> maybe uh, catch up on Star Trek. Oh, neat!